Hello beautiful people. I am so glad that you are here today. How are you doing? I'm listening. You know what? More importantly, God is listening. Yeah, yeah, I know you say, people say that all the time, but really, God is listening. He hears your heart, your spirit, and He sees you and knows you. He created you and He loves you. So, you all know, some of you all may know, I've been on a small hiatus. My husband and I have been moving. We are now at our temporary place and awaiting for God's miracles to just... <laughs> I'm excited for what God is doing, not only in my husband and I's life but in your life as well and I just want to encourage you to continue pressing forward no matter how hard or how tough it may look no matter what this world is trying to say humble yourself before God and be unified with those who are in your household those who are at the grocery store your neighbors keeping your six foot distance but I do want to encourage you to do your best during this time. But also, more importantly, you want to do what God needs you to do. And what I would like to share with you all today is just about being unified in the body of Christ. More than ever right now, in this very day and time, we have tons and tons and tons of people flooding the internet with videos, TikToks, Instagram lives, Facebook lives, YouTube videos such as this one here. And I just think about the unity. When we look at different kinds of videos and different things, it kind of brings us together. Um, it's sharing knowledge, sharing in laughter, sharing in love. And what I want to talk about is just the importance of unity, especially now but just period, honestly. No matter where you may be in this world, no matter how old you are, no matter what culture you're from, this is a time that we all need to come together to be unified, unified in love, okay? Now, you might hear that, and it might fly right over your head, but I want you to really sit in your meditative time with God and think about what are some other ways that you can do your part in this time. You got an extra thing of peanut butter to give to your neighbor? Do so. Because we are all a part of the body of Christ. And what I have is for you too. What you have is for me too. Because we are all created in God's image. We are all a family around the world, no matter where you may be. I want you to really take some time to just meditate on. This one here is from Romans 12, verse four and five. Just as our bodies have many parts and each part has a special function, so it is with Christ's body. We are many parts of one body and we all belong to each other. And I also want to skip down to the same chapter, Romans 12, verses 16 and 18. Live in harmony with each other. Don't be too proud to enjoy the company of ordinary people. And don't think you know it all. Never pay back evil with more evil. Do things in such a way that everyone can see you are honorable. Do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. So just looking at those two scriptures, going along with what I've just said, is that no matter who you are, where you are, what color you are, what shape you are, how old you are, doesn't matter. Let us come together in unity, and that unity brings peace. Being unified brings joy and love. And that's the way that God wants us to live our lives. So today as I get started with our painting, you all I have not had a moment to just be able to sit and paint for a while and I'm so happy that I get to paint with you all today and that you get to just enjoy and I would like to share with you that 
If you love what you're seeing here today, you're familiar with my videos, or if you're not familiar, go back and watch some of them. And I promise you that you will be encouraged, that you will have the strength to keep pushing forward. And the reason I do these videos is it helps me too. The things that I share and the things that I speak on, it helps me too. And so I'm hoping that in by me sharing this, that it is helping you as well, no matter where you may be. No matter who you are, I'm going to say it again and again. Because we have to understand that we are not alone. You are not alone. And if you would like to donate, to give, whether it may be a dollar, it may be a hundred dollars, maybe a thousand dollars, whatever it may be that you feel God is leading you to give, if God is leading you to give, do so. Anytime that I'm watching someone else online and they ask to give, I always pray about it first. You don't have to give just because someone says to give, but you want to give because it's what God is leading you to do. Whether that be financially, if you have some canvases, honey, please, I will take your canvases. <laughs> but I'm being serious though. Especially in this time where things seem to literally be flying off the shelves. If you have something that you can help someone else with in this time and in this moment, come together. Share. Sharing is something that we learn at a very young age to do. And it's like you think, oh, I'm going to remember to do this when I get older because I'm mature. But sometimes people don't learn how to share. Honestly, a lot of people get very, what I want to say, very to themselves. They keep things to themselves and they hoard things. Only to see that, ah, I didn't really need this like I thought I would. How many of you people bet all those people that done bought all that toilet paper off them shelves... The shelves have been restocked and you just bought all that stuff from all the other families, which my husband and I were one of those families, that, hey, you didn't need all of this. How many times can you wipe your butt in one sitting? All I'm saying is that in this time, you want to be mindful of others. And I know that it might be funny what I just said. It could be a little funny when you think about it, but I'm being serious here. Where my husband and I are currently staying is with some truly amazing people that I believe truly have a heart for God. And I believe that's coming together in unity when we share and when we honestly see yourself in your neighbor. We all have that place in our lives where you've been there too. And you can recognize and you see that in your neighbor and someone. I really truly believe that if we all come together in unity, that we will really get through not just COVID-19, but anything that we're faced with. If we trust God, in these moments, in these times of our lives.
to share a little bit more scripture on unity and just the goodness of God. This here is a um, some words that I read earlier from uh, Kenneth Copeland Ministries and it says, Satan has sent the same spirit of division among us today. He knows that a house divided against itself will fall. He also knows that if we all come together in the unity of our faith, we'll arrive at the full stature of Christ Jesus. And that comes from Ephesians 4 verse 13. So, he has assigned a spirit of division to operate in our personal lives our church lives, our social lives, and our family lives. His goal is the same as it was in Corinth, to bring envying, strife, and division, and to stunt our spiritual growth. And as a lot of you know, a lot of people at this time, this quiet downtime that you have, time with your family, take this time as a gift from God to grow even more maturely and strong in the spirit of God, in your relationship with God, with your family, with those who are close to you. There's so many people who do not have this opportunity. Those essential workers who are working their butts off right now, they may not have that same opportunity as you may have with your family. And those people who are the essential workers, God bless you. I pray that you and your team, that God continues to keep you all and cover you all, that you will be healthy and strong, that you and your team, as you all are doing everything in the community that you can, that God will keep and cover you by the precious blood of Jesus. And all of us who are technically non-essential workers, <laughs> you have to joke about it sometimes. Don't be so down all the time because it... Worrying and stress is not good, nor is anxiety, and I know, because I deal with anxiety at some times too, and I'm praying from not only myself, but for you as well, those who are dealing with the anxiety and the stress and the worry of the things that may be going on, but I'm here to tell you right now that God loves you and He sees you, and that God is working everything out for your good, for the good of those who love God. I'm going to continue reading here. But we don't have to yield to that spirit, the spirit of division. Don't let Satan stop your spiritual growth by giving in to the spirit of division. Stand for unity in the body of Christ. Do and say everything with a spirit of love. Believe the best of others and pursue unity with your fellow brothers and sisters in Christ. Our unified power is something Satan can never touch. So, with that being said, honey, even if you are by yourself, if you're an only child, or if you are uh, empty nesters, uh, whatever, if you feel like you're alone during this time, don't. If you have a phone, if you're watching this video right now, it is a great example that God, that you are unified in the body of Christ and that you are not alone if you are watching this video. Because God has saw fit for you to come across this video so that you would know that God has not overlooked you, that God sees you, and that you are too a part of God's family. That you are a child of God. Remember that. Believe in that. Trust in God's promises. During this time, it's, <laughs> man, it's tough. It is very tough. It is easier said than done. But you know what? God speaks it and he puts the action into it. Because when God speaks, honey, there's nothing the enemy can do about that. What God sees in you, what God thinks about you, there's nothing the enemy can do to take that away from you. And when I say the enemy, I mean Satan, the devil. 
Lucifer, if you, if you want to say that. But just like God's word says that we do not fight against flesh and blood. So your husband or your wife, that's not who you fighting against, honey. Like we just read in the scripture. The enemy wants there to be division. Where there's division, you will fall. Think about an avalanche or, or a pile of rocks or anything like that. One rock, <laughs> one rock can hardly do any kind of damage. If it hits you, you're like, oh, ow, that hurt. But think about many rocks being stacked together. They become strong. Or think about many rocks being molded together to become a boulder. They become strong because they're together. But when they're broken and they're crumbled and they're scattered and they are one, they're one. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. We are one. And like rocks being scattered across the whole entire earth, in this time, God is bringing us together back to where we belong. And that is one in the body of Christ. For so long, the body of Christ has been like those rocks and pebbles scattered across the earth. But right now in this very time, God is calling all those pebbles together to be one to be unified as one because ultimately that is our true identity in Christ Jesus. We are all a part of the body of Christ. That is our true identity. You are not of anything or anyone else but God. God created us in his image. That is where the unity comes from. God is not divided. God is God love is not divided. God is I want to challenge you to I would like to challenge you to I'm gonna pause the music for right now. <laughs> Pick up the phone if you haven't already, and I want you to call someone that you have not talked to in a while. You can't say you don't have the time. You have the time. It's a matter of your heart and your spirit. And you want to ask God. Don't just say, oh, I don't have anybody that I need to call or anything like that. Whoever God lays on your heart within your spirit to call, to send a message to, an email, do so. Someone could be feeling lonely and your phone call would allow them to know and feel that they are unified and together in the body of Christ. And I want you to take this challenge seriously. And I will too. You can call one or you can call five. However many people, whoever God lays on your heart, I want to challenge you to say yes to God and just let them know you're thinking about them. If apology needs to be said, apologize. And you know what? As I'm doing this video, God has laid someone on my heart. So, I will put the music back on now. <laughs> And in this painting, you'll see the unity. Okay. Oh, that might be a little too much. I'm using Master Touch from Hobby Lobby Acrylic, and I'm also using Artist Loft.
Thank you all for tuning in today to Painting in a Word with your host, Jaleesa Miller. You are now watching this on Word of Life and on Imagine Me Paint Parties page. Thank you all for tuning in today. Please check the description to see how you may donate today. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. I love you all. Have a beautiful day.